Hey guys, this is my Tamaya Super Champ. A fun, simple, little buggy. And I just want to take this time to go over it and show you some details about it. First of all, I want to show you the shell. This comes in the box already blue, but I still added another coat of the recommended box art blue paint. This was sort of hard to measure and really get that smooth lay in, but you know, holds up great, bashing around the backyard. Here's an up close picture of the driver. Sort of hard to see the detail, but I took my time with him to really, really give him some, some detail. One thing I like about this shell is that you have a hole here and a hole here to mount it along with the hole in the front, but I only use the front clip because right underneath got the bracket and this is metal on top and bottom and that attaches to the roll cage. Here's a quick look of the chassis. I just used the stock Tamaya Electronics for, for this re-release and the whole nostalgia feel. Stock electronics are just perfectly fine. I don't believe you should spend so much money on a expensive electronic system just to, you know, have fun and bash around. I got the orange. It works with my Spectrum. It's all from Hobby King, really cheap. And this is the Tamaya Supplied ESC with the standard can motor. And also a Hobby King servo from Turnigy. If you look through the instructions, there's a lot of screws you got to use the thread lock. And I highly recommend putting thread lock on your shafts because those pins or grub screws they do become loose and also I recommend using a lot of thread lock on the gears. Another thing to take in consideration is that when you install your tires obviously match it up with the pins but If you look on the inside of the tire of the rim, the actual grooves fit into the wheel on each spot. So where these holes are, match them up with the bolt and nut screws. That way it's fully secured and you can tighten it all the way and it will not be pressed against your rear arm because of the set pin. And that's something that could be easily overlooked. There wasn't too many issues building this. It was all straightforward. Just focus on a lot of thread lock and you guys should be fine. Well, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, Remember to like it and leave some comments below if you want me to make some more videos on my other Tamaya models. Thanks again, guys.